So a pro-trans activist delivered a blood-curdling scream at a San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting. So basically, San Francisco is pretty far left, you think, their government, right? But yes. this person uh, went to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting recently um, to protest them because they're not left wing enough, because they're upset about a transgender person who was recently killed while trying to steal from a local Walgreens. And I, I don't know any uh, anything about that case, so I don't want to get into the details of this. But a speaker named Leah McGeever spoke uh, at this meeting, and it's honestly the the most unhinged thing I've ever seen. And I'm just going to play it for you because I don't know how to describe it. I don't have any words prepared today. I just want you to feel our pain. I don't know if you can at this point based off your policy choices, but I have to pretend you have some form of empathy left. So I am going to spend the next minute screaming because that is what is going on in here. That is what the trans genocide in this country, in this city, has brought me to. there but did you notice the mask at the beginning she's still wearing a mask of course they are <laughs> of course there are people in new york city that are still wearing masks i saw somebody yesterday riding their bike with a mask on bro still outside outside 70 degrees 75 degrees sunny beautiful day with a, with and it wasn't even the, K, the k95 the n95 it was the stupid blue one that not that everyone knows that doesn't do shit <laughs> oh I, I just wanted to slap the person off there. You know what I want to do? You know when you're a kid and you want to bully somebody, you throw a stick in between their bike so they fall. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Um, so I just have to say, like, the childishness of this. You're going to go to an event and speak to your elected officials and not make any argument, not make any policy points, but just scream. <laughs> It's like a toddler's temper tantrum. It, it, it's literally a temper tantrum. It's something it's something a five year old does when they don't get their way. It's also like not a good look for I'm guessing this person is a they them or a gender queer or would call themselves trans. Right. Whatever it is, you are not that is what people are seeing on Fox News, right? And they're thinking the LGBTs are crazy. Thankfully, I think most sane LGBT people would think this person's nuts, but it's like, right. not in our name are you going to be acting like a clown up there, acting right. like a buffoon, screaming and throwing a temper tantrum, and acting like that's how we act. That's not how any of us act, because we're adults. We're not little children and toddlers. And you, again, again, it, 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 it hits home with the point we made before at the beginning of the podcast. These people, if they had anything logical to say... Why aren't they saying it now? Like you, you, with with Billboard Chris, he's giving the person the mic. Here, let's like let's hear what you have to say. This person, they literally have the whole, the attention of the whole uh, the committee or whatever it is, and they still have nothing of value to say. Yeah, and, and that and that alone says everything. And I actually have good news though, because this person referenced a trans genocide and you hear this talking point a lot that trans people are being murdered in mass and if true that would be horrible but the good news is that that's not true the statistics do not support the idea that they're being murdered more regularly than everyone else so i have this here the general u.s murder rate was six per 100,000 in 2021 um 32 trans people killed in 2022 is what we have for statistics relative to a population that's estimated at 1.6 million, that comes out to about two per 100,000. So right. 
even if um, you extrapolate that data out, because that was incomplete data for 2022, you have a most three to four trans people per 100,000 were killed in the year of 2022. That's below the average. There's not a trans right. murder epidemic. They are right. slightly less likely than anyone else to be murdered. How can they just keep repeating stuff like they this? They just keep lying. That's they just, just keep lying. And people, they, they lie and they lie and they lie and people don't want to correct them because they don't want to be called bigots. It's, it's literal, it's bully, it, it's, it's the new way of bullying. It really is. Like, if you don't believe what I have to say, I don't care what you think. I'm going to call you this and people are going to believe you. They're going to, are going to believe me rather. Yeah. It's sad. And, it, and it's, it's unfortunate, but it's true. People have gotten fired from their jobs for, for this sort of thing.